Hi there, it's me Carl Welshman, got a fucking blue jumper on, got the fucking sleeves up. We're ready to have a little look into the haul of beers that I took from Sainsbury's yesterday. Well, I say took, I bought, alright? Didn't fucking nick them. Didn't fucking nick them, I bought them. Oh, big sniff there. It's really cold in my house, so getting a bit of a drippy nose. <laughs> Sounds about that if you don't like mucus. Starting up then, brew dog. Hot Frenzy, I think this is in a few different supermarkets, but Tropical Outburst Within says, crack open a can of tropical goodness, our latest foray into the world of hazy IPA, cranks up the volume with buckets of orange, coconut and passion fruit, delve into the exotic for refreshing summer. I mean, what the fuck is this doing out now? I mean, look at the fucking weather. Look at the fucking weather. It's not summertime, kids. No. No, the weather is shit, but maybe this will make me feel all summery when I'm drinking it. I'm sure once I've had a whole fucking bunch of them, we're feeling real, real summery. Next up, from Brew Dog, we've got Wingman Session IPA. Hang on, how, how boozy is this? How boozy is this one? That's a 5.8. Not bad. Little stubby tins. Little stubby tins. Uh, Brewdog Wingman Session IPA. Not saying much. Don't know what we're getting here. Are we, is it going to be hazy? Is it going to be clear? Really does not give much away. What does it say? The eagle has landed. But we're not seeing much else being given away there. I saw this, I was quite curious. Vocation, special edition, Murta Margarita. Death by Margarita, salted lime sour. Salted lime sour. Doesn't sound pleasant, but I do like vocation beers. I do like them. Let me down a couple of times on some of their Imperials, but I eh, thought we'd give it a try. Give it a little try. What else did we get? We got a beer from Polly's. Infinifold, infin, in, Infinifold. Indian Pale Ale coming in at 5.9. I don't think I've been let down by Polly's. Their beers tend to be damn fucking tasty. Um, brewed in North Wales. As you know, this guy here, he's fucking Welsh. Not just by name, but also by birthplace. Carl Welshman with a Welsh beer. Polly's infin Infinifold. Nice, looking forward to that one. No, I'm gonna get this one off the way. I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to this. Northern Monk Chalk Eye Stout. It might work. Perfect combo of chocolate, vanilla, wrapped up together in a delicious stout. I don't know. I just don't have high hopes for any of the random fucking beers from Northern Monk. Do you know? Oh, sniff. Sorry about the sniffs there. As I was looking at the shelves in Sainsbury's yesterday, there were a few that weren't there that I would have liked to have got my hands on. Um, there was a Black Forest cherry gato thing. I think it was from Vocation that sounded quite nice. Uh, stout. I can imagine that would have been nice. I, I have had a Black Forest stout before and it was okay. It was okay. Um, actually, do you know what it was? I, I actually think it might have been Vocation that had made that one before. I got it from Marks and Spencers. It was uh, a, a special in there, but um, I'm guessing that breweries do a, a you know a beer which they go, oh, sh hey, this is just for you, fucking Tesco. Oh, don't, don't tell anyone this one's for you, Sainsbury's. And they're like, wait a minute. We've both got this fucking same drink. You said it was exclusive to us. And they're like, yeah, but the label's different, isn't it? Label's fucking different. So anyway, yeah. So there was a load of Northern Monk crumble beers gone. Like the shelf was empty of them. And that was one of the worst fucking beers I tasted. It was bloody disgusting. Not heard of, not heard of uh, these or this. Um, I don't know. White. Wiper and True, Espresso Martini Shake Coffee Stout. Could be nice. It says an indulgent decadent stout inspired by the world's best cocktail. The Espresso Martini, smooth, velvety and deeply satisfying. This is a beer to savour. Store and serve chilled. 
Our beer is unfiltered and may contain sediment. Pour gently. That one should be nice. Looking forward to that one. And the last one then is another Northern Monk, but it's an IPA. 6.5% IPA. Um, each can sold of this beer includes a donation to our Faith in Futures Foundation. You're helping to support people's places and communities. Nice. You know, you can't go wrong with Northern Monk doing things for charity. Um, quite like the tin. Um, yeah. So, that's, that's what I picked up from Sainsbury's yesterday. Get all in, but yeah, there you go. You got that, you, 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 your wingman and your hot friends as well. Um, I'll do, I'll do some reviews on on these if I remember. I've, I've been doing reviews right on random beers, and what I found is because some of the beers that I've been doing reviews on are so fucking random, as in the real small batch. Um, you know, they're from either from other countries or things like that. They're just not easy to get hold of. They, they don't get many hits. Not many people are watching them. And I've always said I don't do these videos for hits and for watches, but come on, you know, come on. If I'm making a video, you want someone to watch it. So I'm probably gonna reel it in a little bit on some of the more obscure beers. Oh God, just burped, I taste ham. I had some weird fucking ham for lunch. Just really smoky for a bit sick. Just did a mild run as well, so. But anyway. I, I'm just thinking out loud, yeah. I'll probably change my mind tomorrow, see how I feel. But um, thanks for watching. Take care, all right? Really, do take care. Be nice to people. Be fucking nice to people, all right? We're all human. We've all got to get through this shit together, as in shit being shit that life throws at us. We've all, we all got to get through this together. Let's look out for each other. Get in touch with our friends and family. Just check in, send a message. Just go, all right, man, I was, I was thinking about you. Not in a sexual way, but maybe if you were, maybe they want to hear that. You turn around and you just say to your brother, all right, bro, I know we haven't been in touch for a while, but I was just thinking about, imagine if me and you did a bum or something like that, you know, just a little message. It might make his day, or maybe it won't. Have fun, everyone. Goodbye.